It's a pleasure to see you here again. I enjoyed meeting you. I'm Dr. Florence Comente, and we're at the 24th session of the Age Management Medicine Conference in Orlando. And I so enjoyed your lecture on innovations in sleep. Thank you. Dr. Giovanni Santo Stagi, um, would you be able to start with telling us what are the innovations in sleep and sleep therapy that will help people who are aging and know that sleep is vital? Okay, so um, for example, um, the company that uh, I founded, uh, Deep Wave Technologies, is developing this uh, um, technology that we, de and we um, studied at the uh, uh, Northwestern University uh, in the last uh, five years. Uh, it's uh, about slow sleep, that is the most uh, restorative part of sleep. Uh, it's implicated in many different uh, important physiological processes, in particular this process where uh, uh, the brain takes uh, uh, memory uh, that are stored um, temporarily in the hippocampus and moves them to the cortex where they become permanent memories. So this is a very important process that uh, it's at the basis of uh, learning. Um, so everything we learn uh, um, every day, it's, uh, f um, it's based on this fundamental process that happens during slow sleep. So um, slow sleep is the other sleep, right? Everybody's familiar with REM. Uh, when most of our dreams happen, this is when you're mostly unconscious, but the body does a lot of important restorative uh, processes during uh, this part of it. So REM is rapid eye movement sleep, rapid eye do movement. a lot of dreaming. Right. And and this, there is some research showing that is uh, as a very important function, probably has to do with uh, uh, emotionally emotional processing, uh, where we we uh, review our day and uh, we are trying to deal with our emotions, with our experiences uh, that have to do with emotions in general. Uh, but uh, uh, all the other uh, um, important. Uh, uh, learning that uh, you did during the day is a rehearse. So the brain basically is reviewing, is uh, uh, making also some decisions in terms of what to keep, what to forget. It's very important also uh, for forgetting, right? So uh, it's, uh, uh, you, you want to discard certain things that uh, are not useful anymore. And so this is a very fundamental process that uh, happens during uh, sleep. So people yeah. think that it's idle time, but uh, it's not. It's a very active, the brain is very active during sleep. Uh, and uh, uh, the problem with uh, um, aging uh, and, uh, and this particular process is that it becomes less and less efficient as we age. So and what's mostly less efficient is we lose the ability to get that deep delta sleep. Right. And your work is focused on how to regain that delta sleep. Yes. That's so important to cement memory exactly. and to bring in the fragmented temporary memory, move it from one part of the brain, the hippocampus, to the other part of the brain. Right. Tell me how we can make that work more effectively. What, what are the tips that you can give us to make a difference? Well, okay, so there are things that you can do um, in terms of your uh, habits, etc., but uh, also there are technologies that we're developing. Yes. So in terms of tips, of course, uh, the usual things is uh, it's important to have a regular schedule uh, because uh, uh, sleep is part of our circadian rhythms, that is uh, also a very fundamental thing in terms of uh, uh, keeping uh, uh, healthy habits. Um, in fact, uh, and again with aging, for example, these uh, uh, rhythms that uh, are uh, once a day, circadian rhythms, uh, are becoming weaker. Uh, in, you know, we, uh, we are more irregular, we, are, we, we don't follow routines how we should, uh, we should follow. So it's important that actually you're, you're trying to have a, a precise schedule. In effect, our body gets out of step. Instead of the waves exactly. going rhythmically, we don't as, we're not as rhythmic. Anymore, mm -hmm. yes. As a, so we, you can help that by, uh, you know, trying to keep a, a schedule for uh, eating, for exercise, for going to sleep at the right time, on a consistent way, and so, so on. So we trigger the right steps if we Exa can. Exactly. Uh, but also, uh, we are developing technology. So one of the things that uh, uh, we found out that uh, uh, we can actually uh, deliver sound. Uh, so we try many different approaches. Um, but sound uh, seems very, very efficient. So um, the technology that we develop, it's actually following your own brain waves, because it turns out that uh, um, 
again, the brain produces uh, very precise rhythms that are uh, helping uh, these uh, waves, uh, these uh, um, slow waves that I mentioned before. It's called slow wave sleep because uh, the brain slows down relatively to uh, waking. Um, it, you have uh, like one oscillation per second instead of 10, 15 oscillation per second uh, that is typical of uh, waking uh, brain waves. Uh, and these uh, slow waves are also very organized. They, uh, there are many neurons that are doing the same thing. So this is why you see these <coughs> very, very large waves. But uh, as you age, <coughs> these waves become smaller, smaller, smaller. And with that decrease in the amplitude of the waves, there's also there is a decrease in the efficiency of, uh, of sleep. There are some recent papers uh, uh, published just a couple of months ago where they also show that uh, other brain waves that are called spindles, that are um, associated with the memory process itself, are uh, uh, somehow desynchronized. They, there is a lack of uh, uh, synchronization between the slow waves and these uh, higher frequency uh, waves that uh, um, are probably the memory themselves that are being reorganized, um, and they are desynchronized. So instead of perhaps weaving together, right. they're dissociated. They are dissociated. And, and that, that makes sense. Yeah. Because, and what's really critical in sleep, what we've found in the center, is that um, in order to really perform effectively, in order to protect your immune system, decrease inflammation, release the kinds of hormones you need to release, to prevent cortisol rising, increasing growth hormone, keeping your body mass, muscle, losing fat, you need to get that delta sleep. Exactly. So it's, a, it's called delta sleep or slow wave sleep. is very yes. fundamental. Uh, and, uh, and again, with aging, it becomes less. Uh, in t you spend less time in slow wave sleep, but and also it's the, less effective. And less effective. So the amplitude, three things are happening. One is you spend less time in it. Uh, the amplitude uh, of the waves are becoming smaller, smaller and, and, and more shallow, and that. Uh, is correlates with a shallower uh, sleep, less deep sleep, and also there is a lack of synchrony between of import, synchrony. important uh, processes like these uh, spindles that are, um, you know, they have a function and uh, the slow waves, there is a lack of coordination. And what we do with, our, uh, with this particular stimulation, it is a, uh, I, I really, uh, I'm very excited about this technology because it's non-pharmacological, it's not based on any drugs, it's based on something very natural like sound. We are using li little pulses of uh, pink noise that are uh, uh, very short, um, 50 milliseconds. Uh, and uh, they are coordinated with your brain waves. So we read, uh, so the, we, have a, we do, are developing a device, it looks like a sleep mask, and uh, uh, it has a sensor that reads your brain waves. And so it's very uh, personalized. So in that, it so works in that way. with your body, with physiologically both, with your body. That, that is one of the things that we are trying to emphasize all the time, that uh, uh, we don't want to impose uh, an external rhythm. We are trying to enhance what you already have exactly. already there. Uh, and we got it, in a, in, we listen to it, and at the same time, we help it a little bit. We give it a push, right, mm -hmm. in the right direction. And uh, at very specific time, uh, we deliver these uh, pulses of sound that help uh, two things. One, make the waves much bigger. Uh, in particular, we, we did uh, an experiment with older people, um, and uh, 60 years and older, and uh, we were able to... More uh, mature people. More mature people, right. yeah, yeah, exactly. more experienced people. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, their am the amplitude of their waves became much bigger, almost Excellent. to youthful levels. Uh, and uh, uh, the, the synchronization of the waves also improved. So all the things that... Uh, um, and so they had deeper sleep. They had all much three. deeper sleep. And that resulted, that was pretty amazing, uh, because uh, uh, we went you know, from um, changing the physiological uh, signals to actually behavioral changes, uh, and in particular with memory. So we did a memory test in the evening and memory test in the uh, morning, uh, and usually there is a, a benefit due to sleep itself, uh, but this benefit becomes m less and less uh, as you age. Uh, and uh, So you do get a benefit with sleep regardless. regardless. I remember some of your studies that sleep itself cements memory. Right. So if you learn something, but you go about your day, you recall it, but you recall it far better if you actually learn it at night and you wake up the next Correct. morning, your recall is better. Correct. But what you're saying is with the device that actually synchronizes sleep, gives, makes it better, and deepens the amplitude. Yeah, and, and, and this works both for young people and older people, but with older people, uh, there is much more to gain because you lost so much. So this, uh, this process, like I said, is of memory consolidation, this is uh, it's called, has become less and less efficient. 
and without stimulation. So when we compare a night where we didn't stimulate versus, versus a night when we did stimulate, yes. that uh, improvement due to sleep becomes four times bigger. Four Fantastic. times. You think you can regain, let's say you take an 80-year-old who's lost a significant amount perhaps compared to a 60 or 40-year-old, you think with time you'd be able to regain what you had so at we, 60 uh, or 40? Yeah, we, we don't know yet what are the long-term effect because we didn't do that experiment. We are, we are going to do it. But Excellent. So we, we, in, in one end, we don't have that information. In the other, we demonstrated that even one night of stimulation, it's effective. Uh, and so we, we are very excited about that. And, and the nice thing is that because it's not pharmacological, probably there are no side effects or very little side effects. It's something that maybe you can use over a longer period of time. So we are very excited no, about it. It's definitely exciting because there's a lot of mixed data in the literature about pharmacologic effects of sleep. From my perspective, sleep has become paramount. Over 20 years ago, I didn't count sleep. I thought it was exercise, nutrition, sleep. Now we know better that sleep comes first, nutrition, then exercise. And I think if we can solve the problem of sleep, maybe we'll get your goal, which I know is living forever. Right. And I <laughs> applaud that. But you want to have all your faculties. You want your exactly. immune system to be exactly. strong. You want your physical capability. You want your jeu yeah. de vie. And, and that your memory and your cognition is fundamental. It's fundamental. Now, the other, the, the other interesting thing is that because our slow sleep is implicating with so many things, like immune system and uh, hormones, hormones etc., we would like to show that eventually all these other benefits of sleep can be enhanced by this technology. Uh, again, I like it because uh, it's technology, because it's based on sensors, uh, analysis of your uh, brain waves. But at the same time, we use sound, you know, so it's, a, it's also some, it's, it's, it's not invasive. Yeah, it's fantastic. Uh, so there are some studies recently from <clears throat> this, uh, to, by Tubingen University, um, Professor Born, uh, that is an authority in the slow sleep uh, field of the neuroscience of uh, sleep, uh, and he was able to show that uh, with the same type of stimulation, using sounds that are synchronized to your own brain wave, because that is fundamental. It's not about any sound. It needs to be done in a very precise way. Uh, he was able to show that the uh, immune system was impacted. So uh, cortisol level went down within 10 minutes of the stimulations mm -hmm. by a big factor. Uh, lymphocytes were activated, uh, uh, and there were all, many other biomarkers uh, of, uh, of the immune system that were uh, improved. So he was uh, able to show that uh, actually the immune system was impacted. That is amazing. You know, right? I really applaud this research. I look forward to more of the publications and inviting you back to Age Management Medicine here so you can inform us further and the doctors who are here on the cutting edge of the future of medicine, which we practice today, very proactive. We want to keep people healthy. Sure. Our goal would be to live forever. I'm yes. happy 120 is just the starting point, yes, I believe. Yes, okay. So thank you very much for joining My us. My pleasure. And we look forward to your future research and Thank inviting you. you back. Hopefully you'll join us next year. Sure. Thank you. Thank you.